He used their hockey dreams against them. Graham James, one of Canada's most notorious sex offenders and junior coaches, is set to be sentenced again. Today in court, victims shared their emotional statements and the identity of another one of those men was made public. Marissa Degrani has all the day's details. Marissa, start off with what you can tell us about this new victim. Amanda, a publication ban lifted today, allowing another victim of Graham James to step forward. That man is Theo Fleury's younger cousin, Todd Holt. He never made it to the big leagues like his cousin, but Holt is still the all-time leading goal scorer for his WHL team in Saskatchewan. But off the ice, their coach, Graham James, once one of the most revered men in amateur hockey, made their lives a living hell. No matter how many NHL games I won, or money I made, or fame I gained, could dull the pain of having been sexually abused by Graham James. James has sexually abused the two cousins hundreds of times from the 1980s to the mid-90s. He pleaded guilty to six charges late last year. Today, at James's sentencing hearing, Holt felt compelled to speak publicly. I lost a lot of things in my life due to Graham James. But this day in court was a long time coming for these men. When police wanted to charge James in 2009, he was nowhere to be found. The National tracked him down in Mexico, where he was living after getting a pardon for his previous sex crimes against Sheldon Kennedy and two other players. James, James had moved on with his life, but Holt and Fleury had not. Both told the court today about years of addiction, of how they lost everything that mattered to them. In court today, James apologized to the hockey world, to fans, to parents that trusted him. And he said sorry to Fleury and Holt, telling them, I am deeply sorry I was wrong. It is a sad irony that it is you, being among the persons I liked the most, today like me the least. I think Graham James' apology is fake. Um, I, I don't think he... Graham James has the... And I don't think he has that in him to apologize. Now these men are seen as heroes off the ice, champions of change. Courageous for coming forward, they have a new goal, to push for tougher sentences for child predators. Everybody needs a consequence and, and we're, we believe in change. The Crown asked the judge to lock up Graham James for six years. James's lawyer says the former coach shouldn't go to jail. He should serve a conditional sentence in the community of no more than 18 months. Marissa, when will they decide? Sentencing arguments wrapped up today and the judge is expected to sentence Graham James on March 20th. All Amanda. Right. Marissa, thank you so much.